The goal of today's video is to show you how to convert an end kit into an ISO file. The reason being because any mod for a GameCube game, 9 times out of 10 is going to require the ISO file, not a C ISO or an end kit or whatever other file types that you may come across. And it's not recommended to just go online and download an ISO file off the internet. The best way to get them is to extract them from your own game. In today's video, we're going to use Luigi's Mansion as the example. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to my channel members, James K. and Manuel LaVaylor. Thank you so much for your support. I release videos every Friday at 5. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss one. And if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. So the first thing we need to do is acquire our ISO file, or in this case, the end kit. I plan on doing a how-to video one day about how to extract these off of your own game. I'll do that in the future. I don't know when. There are websites out there, such as the Internet Archive, which has end kits for presentation purposes. So, in order to do this, there's going to be several steps. If you already have the ISO file, then you can skip ahead to the next chapter of the video where the converting part is over with and we can get to the patch. But first we got to convert this into a .iso. So there's a couple of other things that we need to get our hands on. And the first thing is the end kit tool. This little, I'll leave a link in the description to this page. You wanna click over here where it says download, okay? And you'll download it. Once you have it downloaded, then here it is. We're gonna make a new folder. We're gonna open the zip folder, grab everything, and put it in our normal folder gonna extract everything you can delete the zip folder now everything is extracted and not compressed here is the inkit app I've never used the inkit tool before but how hard can it be right we're gonna grab the Luigi's Mansion inkit and right there where it says recover to inkit no not not that here where it says recover to ISO we're gonna drag and drop it to that now we have a little command prompt that has just opened up. Verification failed. Okay, so something didn't go right. Okay, don't drag and drop it to recover to ISO. That does nothing. Okay, now we're going to drag and drop it to convert to ISO. I should have tried that first. Okay, it says full verify success. You see that, I believe it's good. So before you press enter or any other key to exit this, you want to go down here where it says output okay that's where it just put it at in kit 1.4 processed gamecube match fail let's drag and drop this out here okay so you drag and drop it to convert to iso and it puts it your converted thing into the gamecube match fail folder we no longer need the in kit version we can delete that there's your iso file you can rename it to something a little more pleasing to the eye. So now we want to test this. I'm going to drag and drop it to Dolphin. Ancient. And it's working. There it is. Drag and drop it to Dolphin and it's working. We tested the file. It works. The next thing we want to get is Luigi's Mansion Premium Deluxe 2.0. This is the second reason that this video exists, is to apply this patch to our ISO file that we just converted. I will leave a link in the description to this page as well, right here where it says updates 2.1.1 release. And the file, that's going to be your download right there. Click on that, right there where it says download, that's where you can get it at. And with the patch being downloaded, now we can do what we need to do with it. We're done with our end kit tool. You can put it wherever you want. I'm just setting it aside for now. Now we want to extract this. All that's in it is the 1x delta file. We're going to drag and drop it to the desktop. Now that we have extracted what's in the zip folder, now we will delete the zip folder. And there is our patch. Now we want to apply this patch to this ISO file. Well, it's an X Delta file. I'm going to leave a link in the description to this page as well. This is where you go to download the X Delta program. However, I myself have not had any luck getting the output file to 
output in an ISO format. It just outputs as a basic file and you can't do anything with it. What I did to apply the patch, I'm going to leave a link in the description to this as well. This is what worked for me. The ROM file, now click Luigi's Mansion USA, and then there it is. It says file is too big. That's no issue because we can just go to force calculate checksum. And then it says calculating for, I don't know, 30 seconds. And then it finished. So now, patch file. No file chosen. We're going to click our patch. LMPD release 2. Point, you know, so on. Double click that, and there it is. So now you click apply patch, and that should be it. It downloads in the top right, and then there is your patched file. Put it on the desktop. Boom. We're going to rename this Luigi's Mansion Premium Deluxe 2.1.1. Next, you want to go to your Dolphin emulator, right click it, open file location. This is the folder in which the Dolphin emulator is stored in. That's where I keep my games. Games folder is at front and center up here. This is where all my ISO files are, whether they're modded or unmodded or whatever. We want to put Premium Deluxe in here. Now you can open the Dolphin emulator and there it is. Really, that should say 2.1, but it says 2.0. Either way, there it is. It's on the menu already because I put it. Now, if you don't see your new game on this menu when you open Dolphin, you can try hitting refresh, and if it still doesn't show up, then just all I can tell you is be sure you're using the correct directory in which the emulator uses to detect where the games are at. This is where being organized with your files comes in. So that should be about it. We're going to click it. Ninja. And there it is. It's running. Everything from this point on is up to you. If you want to play on your Dolphin emulator using a GameCube controller, be sure to click this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next adventure.